don't know why Trace is not pulling from the TV. Because that's what I do to mine. That's not banana bread. Okay, we've been baking it like crazy. Joel Cameron. Can I tell her that chicken thing? I need to unplug the ingredients. All right, so um, at the end of the show earlier today, All right, good morning, everyone. Let's get started today. Um, just realized that make one more quick change. So, still playing around with the music, we're going to get it figured out. How do we do both at the same time? We're going to find out. But for now, we're going to focus on the audio coming through because I know that records well. Patrice, could you hear the music just a second ago? Oh, let me unmute. How to make sure everybody's unmuted. See? Yeah, I'm, you're muted. Okay. Never mind. No, no, I am muted. Patrice, could you, could you hear the music? Uh-uh. Try it again. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm playing around with some more. When when I when I put it through the speaker that way, um, when it's connected to the phone to the speaker, then it comes through clearly. But when I do it through a Bluetooth, it sounds all jacked up. Uh, so, oh, okay. Still mess with it. Who's that in the background? Okay. Is that Kanisha? Yeah. What up, Kanisha? Good morning. Good morning, April. Good morning, Marty. What up, Roxana? <laughs> Reva's in the house. Let's get started. We're going to start with abdominals. So we're going to take a little more straightforward approach to our training like we did in the past few weeks. Um, let's go ahead and lie back and get ready for uh, set up for thin tummy. Um, the most important exercise, in my opinion, is low back health to uh, set your abdominals and begin to move and lift in a healthy way. <laughs> Hold up. Let me. You're a let me mute y'all. <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right, here we go. So lie back, please, uh, for a thin tummy. We're going to go through some abdominal training uh, today, and then we will go into our lifts. Our lift today is going to be a full body workout. We got push-ups today. We got um, 
upside down press ups today for our back. We have uh, what else? I don't know. It's full body is the point, and I can't remember what else we got. We got a little bit of everything in our workout today. So let's lie back for thin tummy. Thumbs on your belly button. Uh, your four fingers fall below your belly button. Pull the muscles below your four fingers as thin as you can. Um, we'll know when I reach the point of thin tummy because I won't be able to talk at the same time. Right from that position, what you're going to do, you can slide your hands under your back. But if you're uh, familiar with the exercise, you don't need to do that. You're just feeling for your back. And you're going to slide your heels out, not allowing your back to move. Now, what you're doing is you're testing, right, your abdominal strength. And you're going to move your heels out only as far as you can do that without your back beginning to arch. And you want to know when and if, if and when it starts to arch, you want to know how long your legs are. Um, because that bend in your knees, wherever that's at for you, is where we're going to raise your legs for this next first exercise, which is toe touches. So with your legs in the air, about 45 degrees, abdominal thin, I want you to flex yourself up and curl yourself down. Flex yourself up and curl yourself down. Our first exercise for abdominals, our toe touches. Ready? Let's go. Flex yourself up, pull your thin tummy in tight. Flex yourself up and curl yourself down. The only real rule for this exercise is that you come down slower than you go up. So squeeze yourself up, um, pulling through your thin tummy, the exercise we started our program with, and then curl yourself down at a slower tempo than you went up. Doesn't matter really how slow, I guess, in, in the context of this group training. But for now, just come down slower than you go up. And you should feel as you pull yourself up, as you flex yourself up, there's nothing pulling your back. And when you curl yourself down, you should feel the exercise move through your abdominal. The point of touching your toes is simply to move the exercise through your lower abdominal. So when you come down, you should feel it move back. Let's keep working. Come on. Let's get 20 more. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Every rep, keep your abdominals thin. Don't let go. You should get up and be short of breath because you're holding that contraction in your lower abdominal non-stop let's keep working let's say we're at 12 13 14 15 when you get up to the top pull your abdominal thin again so here's the here's the course of the exercise at the bottom pull the muscles below your belly button as thin as you can flex yourself up at the top Pull your abdominals as thin as you can again, and then flex yourself down. We got three more reps. So you guys should be well over 20 at this point. We're going to go to glute bridges in three, two, one, feet down. This time, just put your hands right here on your legs. Pull your abdominals thin, and I want you to glute bridge with your abdominals thin until your hips hit your hands. So you close the gap between the crease of your waist and your forearm, and then come back down. Keeping your hands on your legs, let's just glute bridge there. You're focusing on your abdominals. At the top, pull your thin tummy again. This is an abdominal exercise. Keep your abdominals thin and bring yourself down. Keep your abdominals thin. So this exercise isn't going to give you that exhausted feeling like from the front of your abdominals, right? From doing a crunch. This is the exercise that's gonna strengthen your back, um, continue to stabilize your back. Of course, you're gonna get a, a little bit of a glute workout, but I want you flexing, pulling in thin, thin tummy this entire exercise, okay? We're gonna be here for 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that thin tummy right now at the top, okay? Hold that. Now, as you come down, your back doesn't move because it's so tight. Hold that thin tummy and now sit yourself up. Perfect. This is the shape I want you to be in. Now reach your arms forward and curl yourself down, all the way down. Keep that thin tummy and pull yourself up. Let's go, curl yourself down. Keep that thin tummy and pull yourself up. Curl yourself down. Keep that, the same thin tummy you had in the glute bridges, right? Keep that and curl yourself up. Thin tummy down. If you're really using your abdominals, your hip flexors and your quads won't be nearly as fatigued. So if you're feeling it here super tight in your hip flexors and super tight in your quads, I challenge you to pull more with your abdominals and less with your legs, right? So you, the, the point of the thin tummy in this position is to, that's what lowers you down. I'm not using my legs. And at the bottom, I'm setting it again. So that's what pulls me up. We do too many reps, right? For us not to see a change in progress in our abdominal. And sometimes the majority of those reps come from us pulling with the big muscles, our back and our quads and our hip flexors to sit ourselves up. Well, that's not gonna give us the training effect we're looking for. So keep your abdominals thin and at least keep working, of course. We're not reaching with our shoulders, we're reaching with our arms, not our shoulders. And that's how I curl myself down. And that's how I pull myself up. We're going to heel touches in 10, nine, four, three, Two, lie back, knees up, reach, then tummy, and let's work. Again, just make sure that you come down at a slower pace than you go up. So you may be able to hear my voice is shaking. It's not because I've done a thousand reps, it's because every rep I'm trying to do what? I'm trying to exhaust my abdominal muscles. I want you to pull your abdominals thin, and I want you to flex as hard as you can. And I want you to try to make the next rep, the last rep that you can do. And the only reason why it's not, the only reason why you don't take a break is because you're in such good shape that you have to do two. And if two is not enough, it's because you're in good enough shape to flex as hard as you can and make it through three. And if you take that thought process, when you reach the number when you can't do another, right, you'll know what your limit is. And here's why that's useful, because if you find that number, and then in a week later, you do one more, you know you've made progress. And let's keep this going. And the only reason why you know, the only reason way, the only way you can make progress is if you've either gotten better at the exercise, and in this case, learn how to control your abdominals without your quads when it supports your low back, or if you've gotten stronger. The only way you get stronger is if you have new muscle fiber. And new, new muscle fiber means that your, the, the shape of your muscle has to look different somehow. So you can gauge your progress in so many ways, but it starts with, go all the way back, to you flexing as hard as you can right now. Right, so knees above your hips, abdominals super thin, squeeze yourself up and flex yourself down. Let's keep working. This may turn into a super intense abdominal training session. Because we haven't done that yet. We haven't really focused on our abdominals. We may do that. No, I want to do some stuff today. We may, we may do something like that soon, where we just lock in on abdominals. We may set like one class next week, and I'm just going to tell you guys, it's going to be an hour of abdominal training. That would be, that would be fun. We're probably going to do that. Let's keep going, heel touches. Don't let up. Keep working. Keep your abdominals thin. I don't need you to do a 1,000. I need you to do one right now where you're thin. I mean, it's as tight as it can be. I need you to set your thin tummy right now so tight that you can't talk, right? That you start to lose your breath and you start to shake, not because 
you've done so many, and certainly not because you're not in good shape, because you're now bodybuilding. You're trying to make the muscle change shape. You're trying to cause tension. You want it to tighten below your belly button, right? So you're flexing as tight as you can. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Scoop your legs under you. Let's go for a plank, a 30-second plank. You got 30 seconds to make this work. Not 31, not 32. Ready? One knee down, one leg back. Up. Push your heels away. Tuck your hips. Pull your abdominals in. And hold. 30 seconds. Go ahead and push up through your shoulders. Tuck your hips. Push your heels back. Tuck your hips again. Yeah, you can flex your quads, you can flex your glutes. What I care about the most is your plank. So heels, hips, thin tummy, six pack, shoulders, chin down, head back. 10, nine, eight, seven, four, two, one. Put your knee down soft. Cool. I like those 30 second planks. I think a plank is an awesome exercise as a finisher. It's an awesome exercise to transition with. I don't recommend it for like long extended sets, three minute planks, four minute planks. Um, I think it has its place in the middle of a workout. Um, so this is a flow sequence I was working on yesterday during the, uh, flow, the flex training on Instagram. I wanna show this to you. Um, you can play around with this. This is what I would recommend for you today. Um, if you want to do something else, we got a full body workout today. We got upside down push ups, which I'll show you. We got glute bridge walkouts. We got ski squats, so you need a wall. We got pole squats. That combination is one of my favorites. And we have a push up challenge today 30 second push up challenge. All right. So the sequence looks like this um, We're going to start in this lateral, um, this lateral adductor flex with your torso tall. I like to reach my hand on the, on the inside of my calf here and I lean forward. So I'm gonna feel it here, I'm gonna feel it here. I'm keeping my ankle behind my knee. See that? Now, once I play around with this position, you can switch whenever you want to, you know that. This knee's gonna come down right here. My feet are gonna come together, so my toes are together. I sit back and I reach my hands out. And I'm feeling for now my, uh, my adductors here. Now, from this position, I sit up, I walk my feet out, I push my knees out, and I drop my heel. Now I sit back, and you can really feel your abductors. And I play around with this position, in and out. Right, these are the muscles that are really gonna allow you to make some more room in your hips. They can release some low back pain. They can definitely give you flexibility and deepen your squat. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my toes back together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Walk my hands up, bring my knees together, and pick up on the other side. Again, run my hand down the inside of the calf and lean into the side lunge. Other side. I'll play around with this position. Again, I feel the adductor here. I feel the groin there, right? Drop my knee down, feet together, sit back close. Walk my feet out, walk my knees out, drop my heels. Now sit back into the stretch. I may have more room now. You can modify this by trying to squeeze your knees together like you're trying to pinch the earth and then sit back, right? So this is just an exercise of flow to kind of play around with your adductors. We go together, I walk myself up, bring my knees up, and I switch to the other side. So this is a great way to open up the tissue that also can affect the length of your hamstring. And we have to start playing around all these ligaments and, and, uh, and muscles if we want to start to release some back pain or get more range, right, in our hamstring. All right, while you guys are playing around with your flex, your flex positions, I'm going to take you through our workout. We're going to work through these exercises one at a time. We're not gonna be on a timer today. We're gonna to be on uh, sets and reps, two exercises at a time. 
The first one's our upside down push up. So with your um, in a glute bridge starting position and your abdominal stand, your elbows are going on your side and we're going up right there. Now we're gonna separate this, we're gonna do 21 reps. The first half, the top half, we're gonna do seven reps. Going down slow, up, seven reps. Then we're going full reps all the way down and up. Right there, seven reps. Then bottom half, just the ground up to the top half, seven reps. You can make this exercise more challenging by picking your feet up off the ground, okay? So 21 reps total. That's gonna train our back. So we got that exercise. Then we also have glute bridge walkouts. So after our upside down push-ups, we'll come here, we'll go to our glute bridge, and we're gonna walk our feet out, and walk our feet in. When we're at the top of our glute bridge, we have 30 seconds down. When we get to the end of the 30 seconds, our count is down, we're up, and then we walk out again. And you wanna walk out as far as you can, you'll fill in your hamstrings, and then walk back up, and then glute bridge down, 30 seconds. So that's that set, okay? Um, after that, we have our ski squat and pole squat exercises. We're gonna do bilateral ski squats, five levels. Level one is here, level two is there, level three is parallel, level four is below parallel, level five, of course, is below level four. We're gonna go from our ski squat, shout out to Mona for the sweatshirt that she bought from South Africa for me directly to our pole squat. You can use a door, you can use a door frame. We're here in perfect position, okay? Um, we'll go from the ski squat directly to the pole squat. Those two exercises will go together. And the last but not least will be our push-up challenge. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go 30 seconds of perfect push-ups. Push your heels away, tuck your hip, pull your down to stand, head back, keep your elbows in. 30 seconds. 10 seconds. We're gonna rest and stretch right here. Then we'll come back, back into push-ups again. 30 seconds stretch, 30 seconds stretch, 30 seconds stretch, okay? That's how we're gonna train. So three blocks, upside down push-ups to glute bridge walkouts, ski squats to pole squats, and then a push-up block. We're gonna circuit through those three blocks over and over and over again, all right? Um, let's start with the push-up block. So go and get into a push-up position, please, everybody. Let's get into a push-up position. And we're going 30 seconds of push-ups. Do your best. I'll get back on the clock in a second. We're gonna start in five. Push-up position. Four, keep your elbows in tight. Three, two, push-ups begin now. Let's go. Perfect push-ups. I'll be back on the clock. I'll be back on the screen in just a second. Keep your elbows in tight. Tuck your hips. Remember, your push-up is nothing but a moving plank. Don't forget that. Push-ups are moving planks. They're just planks that move up and down. That is all. Drive off your big muscles, your pectoral muscles first. Press off your shoulders. Press off your shoulders. Finish with your triceps. Let's keep working. Now sit back on your heels and stretch. Open up through your lats. And we're going back to push-ups again. I want to put this block first while we're fresh. Just really pull through your lats, sink it, lazy in that position. Really good for stretching, right? You want to feel it under your armpits. Push-up position. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Constantly pushing your hips back or your heels back. Constantly tucking your hips. Let's work.
Uh, there we go. 30 more seconds. I got the clock going now. Push your, or push your heels back, tuck your hips, pretend you have the belt buckle on, point the belt buckle to the ceiling. We're gonna do one more set, one more stretching set, and one more push-up set. Keep your push-ups going. I'll tell you when to sit back and stretch. We've got one more set of each. Sit back, please, on your heels. Reach your arms forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and relax. Back to your push-ups. Tiptoe forward. Drive your heels back. Tuck your hips. Suck your abdominals thin, and let's work. You want to hit your triceps, keep your elbows in. You want to hit your shoulders, your pectoral muscles, start to flare them out. You have to change your hand position. We can talk more about that. If you want to know where to place your hands, shoot me a message on the coach app, and I'll coach you through it. Cool. That's the set. And then everybody lie back. We're going to start with our upside down push-up. So with your forearms vertical, Keep your abdominals thin. Again, you can pick your feet up. You can extend your legs. Just make it more challenging. All we're going to do now is I want everybody to come up, drive yourself up. Only the top half. Ready? Down. Up. That's one. Down. Up. That's two. Down. Up. That's three. Down. Up. That's four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six, squeeze your elbows together. Up, squeeze them together, all the way down. Up, one, all the way down. Up, squeeze your elbows together, two, all the way down. Up, three, come on down. Up, four, down. Up, five, down. Up, six, down. Up, seven, down. Oh, that's seven. Oh, we down. Bottom half. Let's go. One, two, little reps. Three, four, just the bottom half. Five, six, seven. Put your feet down. Pull your abdominals thin. Glute bridge up. You want you cross your hands over your shoulders, right? And walk your heels out. All the way up. And hold, abdominal sin. Tuck your hips, tuck your hips. It's an upside down plank at this point. Now walk your heels in. Walk them in, set your feet, tuck your hips, flex your glutes, and we're coming down slow. 30 seconds. You should not be halfway yet. Tuck your hips, pull your abdominal stand, and come down slow. Tuck your hips, abdominals thin, come down slow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, don't rush yet, 3, 2, up, walk your heels out. Tuck and hold. Tuck your hips. Don't let your back extend. Tuck. Take your belt buckle and point it over your head. Back over your head. Tuck. Abdominal stand. Tuck. Hold. Jig your heels into the ground. Tuck. Walk your heels in. Glute bridge up. Ready. And we're coming down. Let's go. Down. 30 seconds. Tuck your hips. Abdominal stand. Pull your thin tummy. Tuck your hips again. I take my hands and put them on either side of my hips, and I physically pull my hip around. That's what I want you to do. Halfway there. I don't have the clock in front of me, so I need you 
So just kind of roll with me, stay slow. Keep your knees over your hips, don't let your knees come in. Cool, down, elbows down and up. Top seven, or top half, let's go, seven reps. One, squeeze your back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, four reps all the way down. Let's do assisted curl ups. Elbows down and push, one, all the way down, up, two, all the way down, up, three, four. Remember your forearms hit first, then your elbows, then, sorry, your, your triceps, then your elbows, forearms and wrists. Six, seven, let's go three more. Eight, nine, one more, 10. Curl down, bottom half. One, two, three. You should feel that in your abdominals, you should feel that in your back. Four, five, six, Seven, and rest. Come to the wall, please. Let's go with our ski squats now. Get set. Level one. Manage your knee position, feet forward. Sit up tall, back against the wall, abdominals thin, flex your glutes, and hold. First spot. Yesterday during our weight training workout, we did this single leg. I'm just happy that I'm here with you today. Um, I think I blacked out. I came back, I was still sitting on the wall. It was like a nightmare come true. Uh, this would actually be a nightmare come true because I'm doing it again. Flex your quads, flex your glutes, abdominal stem. We're going bilateral today. On my count, we're going down. We're going down about two inches. That's all. Shoulder posture, glutes on, quads on. I like this first level. Kind of pre-exhaust the muscle. Let's go down one level. We got five levels a day. Now, from this position, don't just rest against the wall. I want you to flex your quads, flex your glutes, pull your abdominals thin, set your shoulders, and hold. 30 seconds. 33 to be exact. Flex your muscles. No one's knees should be here. Your knees are directly above your foot, on top of your feet. Shoulders, abdominals, glutes. And let's hold. Keep it thin. Thin tummy, glutes on, quads flexed. If you want to engage or add more to the challenge, hands here. Let's go down level three. We're now parallel. Your legs should be parallel to the ground. All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> this exercise kicked my butt so much, it makes me wanna do it again. Like it makes me wanna get better at it. And I can tell you now that level three today, two legs, feels better than level three the first time I did it. So exercise works. Go down, level four. Now you're two inches below parallel. Let's go. Your hips should be lower than your knees. Again, don't just survive, flex. Let's go. Level five, drop down, last level. Level five. Let's get level five right now. We're going from ski squats to pole squats in about 30 seconds. 
ski squats to pole squats. I like using a door frame better than a door. It's sturdier. Hold on, keep working. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, keep flexing. Good, stand up. Let's go right to our pole squats. Get set. Now we're gonna work us our way down. Break this into 10 levels, 10 levels down. Level 10 is all at the bottom. Level one, just a little squat. Set your hips and flex yourself up. Level two, let's go. Level five is halfway. Level three, and flex yourself up. Level four. Level five, halfway down. Set your shape. Start your movement up with your glutes. Level six. Level seven. Level eight, thin tummy. Level nine. Go down to level 10 and hold. Now let's work. Thin tummy, glutes on, quads on. Hold your knee position over top of your feet. Let's work now. Let's hang out right here. Stay low, flex your quads, manage your knee position, and hold. Last exercise, come on, stay down low. Don't let your back round. Keep your abdominals thin, push your hips back, set your shoulders in a proper posture position, manage the shape of your body. The shape of your back and your torso and your shoulders, the angle of your chest, right? Where your, you know, how high are your shoulders? Are you squeezing your shoulder blades together? You should stand up from this position, not yet, but when you stand up in this position, from this position, you should stand up in the shape that you want to walk around in, that you want to live in. So set yourself, your torso in a shape now that you want to live in. Now flex your quads, pull your abdominals thin, squeeze your glutes. All right, we got 60 seconds left. Stay in there. So now that I've given you the time, right, you can negotiate with yourself. I don't want you to, but you have this opportunity now to negotiate with yourself. Are you going to push all the way through? Or have you decided already that 60 seconds is too much? Because by the time you decided that 60 seconds was too much, it's no longer 60 seconds. You're going to make it. The question is, is how, how, like, how intense is your workout? Flex your quads again. Flex your glutes again. Pull your abdominals thin again. We got 30 seconds left. You made it. 27 seconds. By the time you said, man, this is too much, it was down to 27. We're down to 20 seconds. Let's work. Shoulder position. Chin down, head back. Abdominals thin. 15. 10. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Stand up. Let's get ready to box. That is our strength training workout for today. Hopefully, I'm recording. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, great job today. We have um our boxing workout, we will this week come up with an appointment where we are going to train abdominals. We're going to push through, flex through abdominals. Um, probably for an hour. So I'll make up, I'll make up a full abdominal program and, um, and we will train through that abdominal program for an hour. Um, and it'll probably come along with some stretching and some back work. Just kind of thinking out loud. All right. Where are we at here? Let's hey, get. Hey, April. Is that April? What's going on? It is. 
I'm getting ready to right, hang up. You what? I'm good. I was getting ready right, to hang up. Oh, I'm glad you said hi. Shoot me a message. Let's set up a meeting, okay? Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day, April. Thanks for logging on. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. Let's do it. I'm going to turn some music on this side until we figure out another plan, man. I tell you what, I'm going to try it. No, I'm not going to do it. Let's just go. Come inside me. All right. Our boxing combination for today. Lead slip, pivot four, close slip, pivot five. Step drop, step back. All right, so one of the combinations I've been playing around with that I've liked lately is our pivot and our uppercuts. So from our boxing position, we're going with this slip right here, and this slip pulls the, the spring tight, right? And we pivot. Then we're throwing five, a five, no, <laughs> four slip, come back. There we go. Five puts us here, right? Because I'm turning this way, I can use that momentum. Slip, four, slip, come back. Five, slip, pivot. All I want you to do is throw an uppercut, slip, and pivot. There's a sequence I got that I'm screwing up. Don't worry about it. Let's go four, slip, pivot, five, slip, pivot. All I want you to do is throw an uppercut, slip any direction you want, and then pivot. Throw an uppercut, slip any direction you want, and pivot. Uppercuts, slips, and pivots. Let's go. Uppercuts, slips, and pivots. Doing a five. He said do five and pivot. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Uppercut. When the uppercut comes down, you drop your shoulder. If I'm leaning on this leg, I pivot that way. Boom. Uppercut, follow the uppercut back. Okay, I see the argument, but. Hey, slip the other way. Let's go. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Pero hay que hacerlo. Hay que hacerlo, okay? Uppercut, slip, pivot. In five seconds, we're going from our uppercut, slip, pivots. Just run your uppercuts. Four, three, two, uppercuts. Let's go. Nice and smooth. Let's keep pushing. Just run your uppercuts. Hopefully y'all can hear me. My headphone is going out. Let's keep working though. If you can't hear me in the headphones, you'll be able to hear me out loud. Let your uppercuts go. We're going to turn these into ones and twos in three, two, jab, cross. Let's work. Jab, cross. Let's work. Come on. Now, after our jab, cross, here's our next combination. Keep going and listen. We're going to step, drop. You're going to hold your hands. Step, drop. From here, keep your legs low. Squeeze your abdominal spin and step back. Okay? So our next combination in three, two, we're going to step, drop. Stay low and step back, step drop. Stay low and step back, step drop. Stay low and step back, let's work. We're gonna be here for another 15 seconds. We're gonna start to build this thing up, start to put it back together, okay? So our combination is gonna be very simple. We're gonna start with what we did earlier, which is uppercut, slip, pivot. Other hand, uppercut, slip, pivot. I want 
want you to run those uppercuts when you get back to the middle for three seconds. Then run jack cross for three seconds. And yes, we'll walk through this together. Then we're going to step drop, step back, and then go again. Okay? So, boxing position. Follow along with me. Once you get it, leave me behind because I'm going to go slow. I want you to uppercut. Pull your abdominal stand. Slip. Got that? And pivot. Now go with the other hand. Uppercut. Slip. Pivot. Three. Uppercuts. Two. Uppercuts. One. Uppercuts. Jab. Cross. Three. Two. One. Step drop. Step back. Go again. Uppercut. Slip. Pivot. Uppercut. Slip. Pivot. Three seconds. Three seconds. And what is going on, man? <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff going on with my equipment today. Jab, cross, step, drop, step back. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Three seconds of uppercuts. Three seconds of jab, cross. Step, drop, step back. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Uppercut, slip, pivot. Three seconds of uppercuts. Three seconds of jab, cross. Step, drop, step back. One more time. Uppercut. Slip, pull your abdominal stand, pivot, other hand, uppercut, slip, pivot, come back to the middle. Three seconds of uppercuts, three seconds of jab, cross, step, drop, pull your abdominal stand, drive your elbows against the side of your body, step back. That's our combination. Lead uppercut, lead slip, open pivot, rear uppercut, rear slip, Close pivot. Three seconds of uppercuts. Three seconds of jab cross. Step drop, step back. That's our combination. Let's work. Man, I'm getting phone calls. The music is shutting off. I gotta pull it together, man. <laughs> Let's work. Come on, keep your hands going. So whenever I put a lot of pieces into a combination like this, and it's tough to get it the first time around, you've, it's very easy to identify what your goal is. And sometimes I make them complicated like this on purpose because I want you to get the boxing down, all right? There's a lead uppercut. All that uppercut back into your slip. See that? Boom, boom. This uppercut comes up, and you fall it back into your slip. Because you've loaded this leg up, that's the leg you pivot on, open pivot. Then we go on the rear side, rear uppercut. Follow that uppercut back, right? From here, pivot back inside. Not just run perfect uppercuts for three seconds. Get your hands up and run three seconds of perfect jab cross. Then from here, you're gonna step, open up your, your guard, open up your stance. When you bring this back foot up and it goes to land, you squat down. Keep it the shape of your body like we did in our pole squats. Drop your elbows down, keep your stomach thin, and then step back in this loaded isometric squat. Come up and go again. Lead uppercut, lead slip, pivot. Rear uppercut, rear slip, pivot. Three seconds of uppercuts. Three seconds of straight punches. Step drop, step back. We're going to train abdominals. We're going to a plank position, Spider-Man plank in five, four, Three, two, come on down, elbows down. You can keep your gloves on. One knee down, one leg back. Push your heel away, push your heel away, up, and now bring your hip, your knee up. Only bring your knee as far as you're comfortable, but keep your hips tucked. Keep your thin tummy on. I want in the next, like, six months or so, for all the exercises that we do to be like, to feel totally different. I can tell you now, when I tuck and I really hold my thin tummy and I really hold the plank, I immediately start shaking. So I can find the limit of my abdominal strength pretty quick. And I want that to change between now and in six months. Like I want to be able to go into the Spider-Man plank and the first five reps be smooth and steady and at the same time I'm flexing, at the same time I'm pulling, at the same time I'm holding those, those plank positions, right, with the same intensity, but my muscles are fatigued yet. I want to see progress in these exercises. 
We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put your knees down. Stretch your lats again. We're going back to our boxing position. We're going to jump in the middle of our combination, the middle of our combination only. We're going to be the ones and the twos, the burnout for three seconds. Step drop and step back. So stand back up, back into your boxing position. One, two, three seconds. Step drop, step back. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Step drop, step back. Let's work. So now when we just pull out a piece of it, it's very simple. Now get some cardio. Now you should be moving nonstop. Now your hands should never stop moving in three seconds. And you go immediately from the end of that three seconds into your step drop. And your legs should never stop from being loaded because you're staying there, you're staying tough, and you're squeezing yourself back, and you're coming right back up to one, two. So now that we put out just a piece of the workout, now get better. Now get your workout. Now get your heart rate up. Take the pause out of the break between those exercises. Let's do it together. We're here with one, two, it's for three, two, without stopping, step and drop. See that? My last punch took me into my step drop. I'm not coming up. I'm staying down. Then step back, stand up, and go right into the one, two. Right there. You see the movement now? Take all the pause out. Take all the break out of that section. Ones and twos. On the last punch, step with it. Drop. Pull yourself in. Stay there. Don't come up and then drop. Stay down. Get lower as you step back. When you come up, boom, there's your first punch. When this foot lands, the first punch is out. Now work. Like there's a way to earn like this high level, super intense workout. And it comes from getting better at working out. So our group is a different kind because I want you to be in a position where you can do the exact same exercise next to someone, the exact same workout next to another person. And you get a better workout because you do the workout with greater intensity, with more intent, right? You know how to flex and pull and hold. And you know what it means to stay down and not come up. Because I can tell you now, if you step drop, then come up, then step back, it won't feel the same. We're going back into our plank guitar Spider-Man in five, four, three, two, let's go down. Elbows under your shoulders, one leg back, one knee down, push your heel away, up, push your heels, tuck your hips, pull your abdominals thin and squeeze your six pack. Drop your chin and pull your head back. Press through your shoulders, ready, let's work. When we come back up, we're going to the middle section of our combination, which is uppercuts and jab crosses. Some of getting better at these exercises, for me personally, is just calming down. Like, I get in there and I can feel the exercise working and my bow crap is about to get harder. Right, but at a certain point, just take, your, take your breath in, exhale, and hold the contraction. That's it. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, stand up. We're running uppercuts three seconds at a time. Jab cross three seconds at a time. Let's work. Just three seconds at a time. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Keep training. Let's keep moving. Come on. Lean forward just enough to bring your elbows over your knees. Find a rhythm with your hands where you can punch nonstop. Lead your punches from your legs, not your arms. Pull your abdominals thin constantly. Belly button down. Don't let go. And let's work. When you go to the uppercut, same thing, except now your abdominals have to brace for this upper diagonal movement. That's the only difference. No matter which, 
we push it to the ground, we pull our abdominal stem, we relax our shoulders and allow momentum to move our, push our hands. We push our hands, excuse me. Three seconds of uppercuts. Three seconds of jab cross. Three seconds of uppercuts. Let's go, Reba. Three seconds of jab cross. We're going back to our plank position as Spider-Man. Five, keep training. Four, I want you to go to that position after the countdown. Three, keep letting your hands go. Keep your abdominals thin. Two, continue to push off the ground. 50-50 balance. One, let's go down. One knee down. One leg back, elbows under your shoulders. Ready, push your heel away. Up, push both heels away. Tuck your hips, pull your abdominals thin and squeeze your six pack. Pull your chin and pull your head back, and let's work. One rep at a time. One rep at a time. Ten seconds. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, Two, boxing position. Now, the most challenging of the sequence is the first two parts. Watch again. Lead uppercut, slip, pivot. Rear uppercut, slip, pivot. Three seconds of uppercuts. Lead uppercut, slip, pivot. Rear uppercut, slip, pivot. Three seconds. Boom, boom, boom. Three seconds. Lead uppercut, slip, pivot. Rear uppercut, slip, pivot. Three seconds. If you get it down, you'll know to end on this punch. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, 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 ah. So when you do this and you're going through your three seconds, make it three and a half if you need to so you can finish on the lead punch. That way you can slip and pivot, slip and pivot. Start your uppercuts on the lead punch. There's a rhythm to this as well. Right, that makes it different from the next person who's just throwing uppercut slips and pivots. You want to start and end on the lead uppercut after every turn. Okay, so when you turn back and you start your three seconds, start with the lead uppercut. When you finish your three seconds, start with the lead uppercut. So it's lead uppercut, slip, pivot, rear uppercut, slip, pivot, three seconds. Finish your three seconds here, slip. Pivot, rear uppercut, slip, pivot, three seconds. <laughs> Find a rhythm. Let's put the whole thing together now. Lead uppercut, slip, pivot, rear uppercut, slip, pivot, three seconds of uppercuts, three seconds of jab cross. Step drop, step back. Let's go. Slip, pivot, slip, pivot, three seconds, three seconds. Three, two, one, three, two, one. It works, man. <laughs> it works. You guys are great. Come on, let's go. Let's keep moving. Get smooth now. Ten seconds. Eight seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, plank position. We got a full body workout today. Elbows under your shoulders. Come on, stay with me. Knee down, one leg back, push your heel away. Ready? Up. We got two minutes. We're gonna go one minute here and one minute back into our boxing position. Chin down, head back. Let's work. Every time you bring your foot back, push your heel back, tuck your hips, pull your thin tummy, squeeze your six pack, chin down, head back, and then go for another rep. That's good, man. That feels different when you do that. Every rep, push your heels back. Every rep, point your belt buckle to the ceiling. Every rep. Four fingers below the belly button. Pull it in thin. Every rep. Squeeze your six pack. So look, if you pull this in and then flex, guess what it does? 
it takes your, your waist and does this. So look, in and then squeeze. Um, I'm gonna find an example on YouTube of somebody doing that. But it's vacuum in and then flex, and this gets tight. And that's where we hold, that with the hip tuck. Um, let's stand up in three, two, stand up, back to your boxing position. Let's run this uppercut or this, this sequence for about 15 seconds, then we're gonna burn out to finish our workout. So lead uppercut, slip, pivot, rear uppercut, slip, pivot, three seconds, three seconds. Step drop, step back. Boom, boom. So days when I don't have like the energy to just drive through and like just go nuts on a workout, then I make it very technical. So there are some days when we feel like it and other days when we don't. The days that you don't, remember, and some of you talked, I talked with some of you about this. On those days, you come in and you get your work. You come in, you lock in, you come in, you do it right. And it makes it a very, you make it a very technical day, a very like perfect day in terms of every rep. And if you get half the reps you normally would when you got 100% energy, it's just fine because you then over index on doing it right for the next workout. You have to find your motivations no matter how you feel. I'm super proud of all of y'all. We're gonna burn out uppercuts in five, burn out uppercuts in four, three, two, let's go. 10 seconds of uppercuts, 10. Nine, come on, eight, seven, six. In five seconds, go to jab cross. Two, one, jab cross, let's go. 10, nine, come on, let's work. Eight, seven, keep pushing. Six, five, four, three, we're going hooks. And two, hooks and one, let's go. 10, nine, push your punch across. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Man, good job. You guys are putting in the work. Bottom line, you're putting in the work. Let me pause this or stop that.